Hey friends, it's Ben, and I wanted to invite you to uh, my current prayer spot, which is right outside a little deck we have outside our apartment. Uh, it's very different from the prayer spot that I previously had, uh, but I'm getting used to it. And on any given day, you can find me out here with my headphones on, listening to my favorite prayer app. It's called Lectio 365, and uh, I'll include a link to it in the uh, in the comments below. Um, I don't know about you, but it is so important for me to have a rhythm of prayer. And if you're anything like me, um, it's hard to find one and to stick to one. Uh, some of you might like reading. I found that it's just good for me uh, to stop and listen. And so I share this uh, resource with you if it's helpful. Uh, these times uh, I've, I've been reflecting on, I think, I think some people uh, are bored with too much time on their hands and other people are stressed out with too much they're juggling in the pandemic realities. Uh, I think of the uh, words, I believe it's Martin Luther, but I'm not sure exactly who it is. Um, uh, and I th he said something like this, right? I pray for an hour every day except for those times when I'm stressed out. And on those days, I pray for two hours a day. Um, so wherever you are, I hope that you are fi uh, finding ways to make space for grace, um, both time and space, where you can remember God's care and uh, be, be refreshed and uh, refilled. Um, and on that note, I am so grateful for uh, the, the leaders at Northbrook and all those who came out on a rainy day uh, to celebrate communion last Sunday. Um, it was wet, uh, it was awkward, there was a lot of plastic and hand sanitizer, and yet uh, we celebrated uh, and we shared the bread of life and the cup of salvation together. Um, Moving forward, we're going to need to try new things, to step out of our comfort zones, uh, trusting uh, that God is ready and eager to nourish us, uh, even in these crazy times. So may you have space for grace. And uh, tell others, tell me, uh, let's, let's share the ways that we are being nourished by God uh, so that others can uh, be blessed as well.